Hello lovely people, it's 2024 and you know what they say, new year, new me, right? For those of you who are just joining me, last year was a little bit of a roller coaster when it comes to fitness. These things happen. So in this video, I'm gonna run you through and share with you my journey of reclaiming my fitness, getting back into the swing of things with training, and I hope that together we can make 2024 our best yet. Typically at this time of year, I've been knee deep into race season training, but this year it's been a bit different. I'm having to let my body heal and get fitter at its own pace. More in my New Zealand update video about that. But here's the thing, there's no perfect time to start working on your fitness goals. So how am I reclaiming my fitness? Day by day is the only way to get fitter. So what I'm doing is slowly getting back into it, getting my body moving each day, doing little swims, little rides, little hikes, and the focus being to explore rather than have a strict training plan. I've even been learning how to wakeboard and water ski for fun. Remember, rebuilding fitness is incredibly personal. So you just have to take small incremental steps, whatever that means for you, each and every day. Even if that's 10 minutes of exercise, five minutes of exercise, celebrate those small wins and also recognize that trying your best is all that you can ask of yourself. One tool that's been a game changer for me during this fitness journey is the indoor trainer. Whether I'm short on time or just trying to take it slow, turbo training provides a controlled and efficient workout. Currently I'm staying in Taupo, New Zealand where the weather can be a little bit unpredictable. So having the turbo set up in the garage allows me to hop on and off whenever it suits me. I love indoor training for how controllable it is. It doesn't really matter what your goals are, you can completely tailor indoor training to how you feel, add a few minutes here, take a few minutes off, change intensity, and you're doing it right from home, so it's super easy. That brings me on to the process of fitness. Now fitness is an intriguing concept. It's completely invisible, and no one can tell you how long it will take to get fit. But one thing is certain, if you put in consistent effort each day, you will get there. It's all about commitment to the process and acknowledging that each day is a brick in the wall. It's worth embracing the daily challenge, even if you feel like a slug, because hey, slugs get there eventually. Another thing that's really important is keeping it interesting. Breaking the monotony of training is absolutely crucial. And one way I do this is with the indoor training at Bruvi. Ruby makes indoor training easy. It flies by and in the process, you get to explore all different places around the world. If you'd like to give Ruby a try for free, you get an extra 30 days free on their free trial with the code Kira. If you wanna add some ease to those indoor training sessions, I definitely recommend giving Ruby a go. After all, you can try it completely for free with my code, so I'd love to know how you get on with it. Training is about progressive overload, so doing a little bit more training than you've done before is how you make those baby steps towards fitness. So anything that is gonna make that process easier, like Ruby, is just a complete no-brainer for me. As I'm just coming back to fitness, I am focusing on keeping all of my training easy but interesting. I'm not doing any structured workouts yet, I'm just focusing on that zone one, zone two stuff, building up my endurance and just getting my body ready to go back into a full regimen of training. So having a few new route options on Ruby takes a bit of the stress out of this process. If the weather's bad or I've had a long day working, you will find me on the indoor trainer. <laughs> when the weather's on my side though, I definitely take the training outdoors. Being so close to Crazy the Moon Mountain Bike Park, I've been doing loads of exploring of the trails, both on my own and with mates. And as well as the epic trails, Taupo also has a huge freshwater lake. Trying to take a daily dip in Lake Taupo, no matter how challenging, does wonders for my mental health. So I try and do it as much as possible. Call me Wim Hof. There's a lot of science around cold exposure being great for your health and your immune system, so why not give it a go alongside your training for that bit extra recovery? So here's to 2024, a year of resilience, progress, and embracing the journey. Remember, it's not about perfection, 
it's about consistent effort. Whether you're taking baby steps or leaps, each one of those is going to get you closer to your fitness goals. Cheers to making this year our best yet. If you enjoyed this video and want to join me on the road to fitness, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and let's crush those goals together. Also, if you have any tips on getting back into fitness, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep risking it for a biscuit, and I'll catch you in the next one. Love ya.